had a, a thing here where I'm going to ask you like 10 questions quickly. Uh, you can give me short answers. You can elaborate. But uh, some are going to be stupid. Just going to preface it. Some are going to be good. We don't know. Uh, I would expect Will, you want to do like every other question? So it's like yeah. tag team this shit? Sure. All right. I'm going to call this segment 10 rapid fire questions for Derek Wolf. Question one. Now that you have children, would you still threaten to eat Philip Rivers kids? Yes. Yes. All it. right. Uh, appropriately, this is number two. Did Lamar Jackson actually take a bathroom break in that Monday night football game against the Browns? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, we got confirmation. Okay. Scariest guy you ever played against? Um, scariest guy. I don't know, man. I just was never scared of anybody. The man. I don't, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not trying to sound like, I'm not trying to sound like, you know, tough guy here, but like, I just, I know there's never a time where I lined up against somebody like, ooh, Maybe, shivering okay. in my boots, you know? Yeah. Let me rephrase it. Somebody who surprised you that uh, you played against. Okay. J yeah. Joe Thomas. Joe Thomas. And I knew he was going to be good, but I knew he was going to be that good. I was like, oh, this guy's <laughs> next level. <laughs> like, that's pretty he, cool. He grabbed a hold of me and I was like, whoa, okay. Like, <laughs> just like that. super strong or? It just is like, his hand, everything Everything was perfect. Like he just didn't make a mistake. You know, like you couldn't catch him slipping because he was like going to be perfect every play. That makes so sense. So you had to like bring it every single snap against him. Uh, all right, number four. Did you have a lawyer or agent thoroughly review your one day contract with the Broncos before signing? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, which, which quarterback do you wish you could hunt with your bow? That I could hunt? Yes. Oh, probably Phillip Rivers. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, I guess you kind of answered this. Um, oh yeah. I if you want to make it more well. general, if you want to go past the offensive line, best player you ever faced. Best player I've ever faced. Um, I gotta tell you, one of the be one of the hardest tackles there is that, that I ever had to make was Marshawn Lynch. Mm. Oh, he was hard sense. running back to tackle. Really, I mean, difficult. Like you, like that was one guy where I was like, man, I don't want to have to tackle him, you know, 15 <laughs> times this game. Like I'm gonna, it's gonna suck because yeah. he, in my rookie year, in my rookie year, we were playing in the uh, in the preseason. And I went to rip off. I was shedding off a block, and the offense lineman was like hanging on to me like this. And Marshawn hit me in the face and just my, it like felt like my whole face exploded. Like it was like, bah! You just run through somebody's face. A lot of people ain't gonna be able to take that over and over and over and over and over again. And it was just like, my my face and head was just numb the rest of the game. So he, he's not playing when he would say, run through a motherfucker's face. <laughs> yeah, he'll run right through you. So like, that was, that was one of the hardest tackles, like that I've ever, I mean, probably the hardest running back I've ever had to tackle. I think there's a deeper metaphor there. Run through a motherfucking face. Derrick Henry, I never thought was tough to tackle. Like he, he runs kind of tall, but the way Marshawn was built and the way he ran the ball, yeah. Yeah, the the Broncos had Derrick Henry's number um, the last couple of yeah. times. I handled him in uh, Baltimore as well, so I wasn't like oh, he's yeah, a great he and he's he's too. a great back. Yeah, he's a great back, but yeah, I had. We handled them. Finch Warmer Brew. Always be closing. Coffee is for closers. Coffee's for closers only. I am not fucking with you. Okay, this, uh, oh man. All right, best, you're gonna you get the good question, Will. Okay, yeah, best no. teammate you've ever had. Oh, that's a tough one because, I mean, Peyton, Demarcus Ware, um, you know, keep to leave. TJ Ward, great teammate. Von Miller, great teammate. Um, you know, I got to say Peyton though. Peyton was probably the best teammate I ever I'd ever played with. Even uh, with his no music rules. Yeah, even with his no music rules, because he still treated you like he treated everybody like, you know, like family. Like everybody was part of his family. You know, he he didn't treat anybody less than or you know, act like he was above anybody else. He was just and a guy in his position, he could have he could have easily acted that yeah. way. But I think it's he, funny that you guys listen to Future back then because I'm. I have a feeling that they don't listen to that in the Broncos locker room anymore. With uh, yeah. Russell Wilson. Yeah, <laughs> they definitely aren't listening to that. Yeah. Way to make it. Oh, way, to, way to make it. Way to make it awkward.
<laughs> All right. I don't think you're going to, maybe you will, but you might not answer Peyton Manning for this one. Uh, you're in a street fight and you have one former teammate by your side to fight with you. Who are you picking? Brandon Williams. Oh, it's a deep cut. Big baby. Yeah. Number 98, hard nose guard when I was in Baltimore. That's what that's I'm taking. Dude is amazing. I mean, like like his last name says, he's a wolf. All he does is hunt, man. And when we were out, me and Calais, he stepped up in the major way. He continued to hold down the defensive line. He continued to just be a leader out there. And pretty much he's doing exactly what we brought him here for. I mean, he's a prototypical Raven, and we love him for it. He's a big athletic dude, too. I'm talking, he's 330 pounds doing backflips. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, have have you watched Hard Knocks at all? No. Have you seen you've seen clips though of Dan Campbell. Dan Campbell, awesome, love the guy. Do you yeah? Do you wish you could have played for him? Oh, absolutely. It would have been a great coach to play for. I probably would have just wrecked myself playing for that guy because he was. <laughs> it makes you want to <laughs> like run through real, a brick wall. Right? Like, I'm just yeah. I'm just watching. I'm watching clip. You know, sound bites of him. Like I want to run through a brick wall for this guy. Okay. And he, you know, he's just walking around saying D's nuts and stuff. Like, just it just sounds like I mean, it just seems like an awesome coach, and it uh, it's good because he's it seems like he's changing the culture over there. You know? Yeah. No, we're big Dan Campbell's fans, but like, you never know like how players actually think about it. So I just kind of want to get your take on if that translates, and I'm glad that it does. Oh, I would have loved to play for a guy like that. All right. Final question, Will. Yeah. Um, are you pro or anti? Broncos country, let's ride. I mean, if it works, it works. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's a whatever to me. I I like Russ. I know I've I actually I've known Russ for a long time. I played against him when he was at NC State. And um, we are at the combine together, so we got to know each other there. And I know he like he takes this this game serious like he he means like when he says he wants to win a championship he means that like he doesn't just want to win one he wants to win multiple championships and so he and he he takes himself very seriously like he's he means he means what he says so like when he says let's ride like i know what he's saying i get it and it's funny that people (laughs) i don't know it's kind of i love it (laughs) like it is like it's one of those things that it, it felt very calculated the first time he said it. I was like, oh, this is going to be like a thing. I thought he might even market it. And then it just turned into something different. And now <laughs> I will take great honor defending Let's Ride and all of its cheesiness because I'm a Broncos fan. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it, if it works and the guys around, yeah. if the team, if his teammates don't think it's goofy and they, and they think it's great, then that's all that really matters. <laughs>